has descended upon America. Organized crime is sweeping the nation. And hard-working citizens have become targets. And behind all this terror, gangsters. People like Arthur Schultz, Carlton Barron, Kirby Dallard. Nobody can touch them. They make their own rules, ordering their hoods and minions to run riot throughout the city. The police, the district attorneys, the judges, they're all powerless due to fear or more often corruption. And so the mayhem continues. Now the crime wave is threatening to move into our own proud city, New Temperance. It looks as though we will all become the victims of this terrible enemy of the people. <laughs> We've certainly got him scared down there in New Temperance. But what are you waiting for? This city is virgin territory. So get out there and take control. Do it your own way. But remember, real power is never given. It's taken. Muscling in on my turf, are you? Hmm, nobody muscles in on Super Paul's turf. We're going to have to do something about that. See? Welcome to Gangsters Organized Crime. This is a game I used to play all the time in the day. It has a few glaring problems, but it's an old game, so I'll kind of forgive it that. It came out in the late 90s, and that's when I originally got it. In fact, I'm playing my boxed copy from then. It took me forever to find the patch for it. It's kind of like a gangster organ, uh, gangster simulation. Um, our opponents are going to be random. That means that some might be passive, some might be aggressive, because we're going to be fighting other mob bosses. So let's make our character... Ooh, should he be bald? That's kind of badass. This guy looks unhealthy. He looks like some sort of freak monster. Oh, that guy actually kind of looks like me. Now, we'll go with the um, that kind of losing hair. So what are we going to call him? He's going to be Paul. Um, I guess I'll use my last name for once. I never use that, Rodin Bag. His nickname's going to be Dutch. And our gang color is going to be red, the color of blood. Because that's what we spill when people try to fuck with us. And without further ado, dudes. Ooh, I want that money. We're gonna start the game. This is the um, this is the main planning screen here with the new Temperance Times. These this is the diplomacy screen. We'll get that at the beginning of each week. And that tells us what the other mob bosses think of us, basically. There are three other mob bosses. Swan Murdoch, he's at a ceasefire with us. Spider Towson, he's at peace. And the Devil Chi, he's at a ceasefire with us. Gang warfare comes to town. City in corruption. Scandal as prohibition takes hold. So it's the New Temperance Times, and we're in New Temperance. This is the city. This is our headquarters. Wherever you see the little gun with the red circle around us, that's our headquarters. We'll zoom out as much as we can. And uh, just kind of look around. We're on the southeast side of the city. You can see there's an FBI headquarters there. The money sign thing's a bank. I believe that's the post office. Um, there's a hospital. There's the docks. There are warehouses. Um, there's the police station. There's City Hall. And somewhere around here, I think that's the Union Building right there. Somewhere around here, there should be the courts. Whatever. We'll find that later. I believe that's a radio station there. All of these matter because some of these buildings have benefits or um, negatives. Oh, there's a department store. So we're going to go to diplomacy rating. I was just telling you about the other heads. Basically, you can win this game one of three ways. One of the ways is you destroy all the other mob bosses. If you kill them off, you win. Uh, the harder way, and uh, like you get more points doing the harder way. The next hardest way is to become mayor. You, you run for mayor and you win. Um, and the hardest way to win is to go straight. Basically, it means you get enough money in businesses where you can quit being a crook, but you can still be rich and make money. Uh, we're going to look at the other uh, leaders. Ooh, it's a lady. 
Um, what's her name? Maeve Swan Murdoch. She's at a ceasefire with us, and we pick ceasefire with her too. We can change it. We can be aggression, war, um, peace, or alliance. In fact, we're going to go to peace. We want peace. James Spider Townsend. He wants peace. We want peace. And uh, Kyle Fang, the Devil Chi. We're going to want peace too. So we can see there's the green, the blue, and the orange gangs. Down here are unattached gangsters. We don't know of any yet. They exist. And then snitches, which are uh, correspond with the color of the other groups. And then here is us. We're red. We already saw the news. So let's go to the map. A second, I'm going to just explain a few basics of the game. We're going to kind of zoom in to where we are. One of the big basics of the game is territory. So if I click on the territory button, this is our territory right now. As the game goes on, us and the other rival mob bosses are going to be contesting each other for gang territory. And basically, you control territory either by directly owning it or by having control of it in that you're extorting them and making them pay you money. Right now, we only control this city block here. Um, we own it. It's a front building, um, and it's run by our man Fidel. We have profit, profit for it, how much value it is. And then the center square, you can see like all around here, that's the tenement block. The center square is where our office is. So if we click on the office, there's me, Dutch, and uh, how much money we have. If we click on one of the buildings near us, this is another tenement block. See, Amelia runs that place. If we click on the center block there, we don't know what's there. So that's really the big money-making thing. The, the, there are a bunch of different crimes you can do, like you can extort people, we'll do a little of that, but the big, big thing for money making, and one of the biggest glares in the game um, when it comes to the instruction booklet is illegal businesses, because the game doesn't really ever tell you how to set them up and get them. So if we look over here, this block, like on the tenement block here, everything around there is one. In this kind of building, it's not. There's a jeweler's, a doctor's, a detective agency, a hotel, a fishmonger's, a hair salon, and what it is matters. So what you would do is you would buy an outside building like the hotel, and then once you buy that, you have the right to buy the center one. And once you buy the center block, you, assuming nobody else owns it, because the other crime families will buy those, you put up an illegal building there. And you, you ideally want them to match. So let's say you decide you want to start counterfeiters. You want to counterfeit money, make a bunch of money that way. So you're going to want to have a front building that would work with that. Like a bakery is not going to work so well. They're going to be like, why are you bringing in lots of paper and ink? But if you bought like a stationary store, then that would make sense. And that's going to matter later on when you see cops. Because um, if we look over here, oops, I'm going the wrong way. That uh, sh uh, shield there, that's the police station. That's the mayor's office. You can bribe almost everyone in the game. You can bribe judges. You can bribe... Um, I don't remember if you can bribe juries. You can bribe uh, the police the chiefs. You can bribe regular cops. You can bribe the mayor to look the other way, to look at your opponents instead of you. But there's this one group here, the FBI, you cannot bribe. Unfortunately for us, we're not very far from the FBI, so we have to be careful. The more crimes you commit, the more they're going to look at you. This is the lawyer's tab. We don't have a lawyer yet. This is the accountant's tab. Right now, we are losing money. Our only income is the um, legal money from running the tenement block. So right here we have our first lieutenant, Elijah the Hawk Stedman. We can totally, I believe, rename him, can't we? Oh, maybe we can't. I thought we could. He's got something that works for him, which is Chaisley Lightning Clifton. And we're going to want to give him more people. Basically, this game works by having lieutenants do things for you. So we have a few other people. We'll click on them. They all have individual um, skills, too. If they're going to run a business, organization and business matters. Um, if you're going to blow people up, explosions matter. If you're going to do um, extortion, intimidation matters. So we're going to move you to this group. What are you good at, Isham? I'll, I'll call you by your nickname, Twister. You're good at intimidation? Good. What about you, Andrew? You're good at fists. Oh, that's good for intimidation, too. So let's see if these guys have any weapons. Um, we, we have five pistols and three explosions. Or, uh, explosive devices. I don't think I want to give those to them. Do we have any vehicles? We do have one vehicle. We're going to let them use that. Now, what we're going to have them do, if I can remember how to get out of the screen, there we go, <laughs> is we're going to have them extort. We're going to have some more violent crimes happen soon. Actually, we're going to have them do two things. If we look at this tab, this is the orders tab. We have business orders. We can like buy buildings, 
run businesses, give money to the poor. That's another thing. Is you can set up soup kitchens or donate to the poor to make people like you, which will help you if you run um, for mayor or just in general. Uh, guard business, patrol, explore, recruit, go to places. We're going to recruit. We want him to recruit. Basically, we want him to recruit some more thugs. We'll have him do that himself. Well, basically, he'll decide who does. And then we're going to go to extort. And we're going to have him and his lackeys extort from these blocks around here. Man, the FBI is right fucking there. Fuck it. You only live once, right? I don't know if they're going to get to all of those. If they succeed at that, we'll expand the area. I think that's all we want to do, really, for this part. So we're going to go into the next part of the game. This is kind of like the RTS part of the game. You can see our guy right there. Oh, let's move the building. Our guys are running off to do things. So this guy, he's running off to extort people. He's running off to recruit. You can hear them in a minute. Hey, this place is nice. You want to keep it that way? Whatever you say. So we just extorted Amy Monroe, so she's going to pay us 40 bucks a week. I'm not big on extortion in the game. It's a great way to increase your territory. We'll click on the territory button. This is our territory. The red dots are our guys running around. The reason I'm not big on extortion is I don't feel like it's great for risk or reward. Starting off, it is. We want to expand our territory for multitudes of reasons. One of them is we don't want the enemies to find out where we are. Because we started with random enemies. If they are aggressive and find us... Uh-oh. Uh, from Elijah the Hawk. That's our guy. Um, I've seen Alfred Lumpy. Where? Oh, crap. Right there, that green dot. That's... Oh, that's not a good start. Right there, that guy with the green under his feet. He's from a rival gang. And the way the week works is all your guys start in your headquarters. And when Monday starts, your guys leave the headquarters like they did. The fact that we can see Lumpy so fast must mean that a rival gang has to have a headquarters somewhere very close. I mean, Monday is not even just as a little over halfway through. That is not good. <laughs> we don't, you don't want to start right next to someone if you can avoid it. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to send scouts or people to extort up in that area because I bet you that guy's extorting right now too. Man, sorry to be all quiet there. It's like, oh man, what do we do? I was not expecting that right away. All right, Elijah Steadman. He's trying to find some new guys to join our gang. Where the hell are you going to recruit? That's a tenement block. Usually, usually they'll recruit at like bars, places like that. So if I go and type, um, I forgot what kind of buildings I sent him to. Oh wait, no, there aren't going to be bars. I forgot, not bars, because bars are illegal because we're in Prohibition era. But there are milk bars. Oh man, the cops are at that one right there. See, they're probably checking it out. As time goes on, there'll be more and more cops and where crimes happen, they'll check more stuff out. So we don't want to commit a lot of big crimes. Or we do, but not right around here. We might start some violent crimes real soon because I want to go rob some places. Man, that bank is between the FBI and us though. All right, so let's go find out where our guys are. You gonna pay for insurance? All right, okay. Yeah, that's right, lady. Oh, there's multiple buildings here. A pawnbroker. Pawnbrokers actually, if you see this down here, they're a good place to if you have counterfeit money. If you counterfeit money, this will happen later in the game. You can store it in. You gonna pay for insurance? Okay. 
You can store it in some of your buildings and then have them like give it out as change to help you make more money. And this loot, sometimes you can steal things and sell them through pawnbrokers and other places. You can fence goods. Now, we don't own these, but we're extorting these people. Eventually, we will buy our own buildings like that. Feels good extorting these bastards. So we're going to speed things up a little bit. Usually, the first week is pretty, um, it's pretty calm. Usually, there's not a hell of a lot of violence. We're definitely going to have to look up here, though, to see if we can... Who was the green one? I think that was the lady. Oh, shit. Cops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are cops doing here? I don't remember the shortcut keys. Okay, they're just looking around. It is not good either that... It would be a lot better if, like, our headquarters was in the middle here. Like, right out here. That means the cops were looking right across the street from us. In the same neighborhood, our guys were busy extorting people. God, I don't want this to be a short LP. I'm a crime lord! I'm freaking Dutch! Super Dutch, Paul! Give me some wooden shoes and a windmill! Put all my enemies on the windmill and hang them from it. Yeah, it's cool. We'll give them just enough rope so that when the um, windmill part comes to the ground, like the low part, they can touch the ground and be like, Oh, I can breathe, and then it's going to pull them back up a little bit. Ah! It'll be terrible for them. That's the thing, right, about being a gangster? you got to be an asshole at times? I think so. All right, let's speed it up and get right back into the, um, if any messages happen, we'll, we'll slow things down, but. So far, so good. All right, you can see the red dots coming back to the headquarters. Week one has ended. Hey, sex the lady. I got a gun for you. All right, Murdoch wants to make peace and cheese after our blood. So let's go see who's who. Okay, Murdoch wants peace. You can also make an alliance with them. Man, she's fucking close. We might ask for that. And then she wants to go to war with us. Holy fuck, that's not good. All right, let's go to the reports. Um, the Hawk says uh, he completed recruiting people and extorting those areas. So why don't we look at some of them? This lady's paying us 500 bucks a week? Hell yes! We, we might lower the extortion rate, though. Alright, Elijah, who did you hire? Is this it? Are any of these guys really fucking smart? Oh, damn it, dude. We need somebody who's smart. We're going to hire all these guys to our, um, basically our work pool right now. So, let's see. We promoted... TikTok. Now let's give him some men. No, I want people who are good with firearms and intimidation. Fuck it. You... Well, that's what I can rename as the team. These guys are going to be violets. That doesn't look like a V. Viol. Viol. I need to go back to gangster school. <laughs> Violet squad. And there's a reason why I'm calling them Violent Squad, which we'll find shortly. All right, Elijah, we need you. All right, okay, that's where you saw Alfred Lumpy. They're all right up in here. Shit. All right, let's look at our territory. This is all in our territory now, so we're going to have him collect the extortion money for that area. In a moment, we're going to go to the, uh, where are we going to go to? And we need them to recruit people. Oh, man. We need to explore, too. But, you know, recruiting is more important at this point. Ooh, that's the labor exchange. That would be a great place to um, try to recruit people. We're going to have to wait to explore up here. Like, I want to do that right now. I really, really want to do that badly, but... 
I think that needs to wait. So the reason these guys are violent squad, we're going to give them some guns. We're going to give them four pistols. And, oh man, can we take the vehicle from you? Alright, alright, Elijah, don't worry. If we look at our accountant's spreadsheet here, we made 336 in the last week from our, our legal stuff, which is our tenement building, our apartment building. We made three grand doing extortion. That's pretty fucking good. You know what I do want you to do, Elijah, though? Is one of the problems later on is people can get mad at us and try and report us to the cops for extorting them. Is we're going to adjust everybody's um, ex protection money here. The reason I'm doing this is I want them to be... I don't want them to be too mad at us. We're Obviously, we're extorting them. We're threatening them. We're going to lower that down to about a quarter. So they'll be paying us a low extortion rate. We'll make a little less money. But the worst problem is if you don't do that... Not that you don't. You have to do that. But let's look at um, this doctor here. Edna. Sooner or later, she might get angry and be like, I'm not going to pay you anymore. And then your choice is either let her do what she wants and then nobody's going to pay you. Or you go beat the fuck out of her. And then cops and all that. Alright, where was the... Okay, there's a large bank here. Let us buy a car. What can we afford? Roadster? No, we're gonna buy you a... We're gonna buy you a truck. Oh, no, not two! Oh, God, I hit the thing twice. No, we don't. We'll just put the extra truck in our carpool. That actually isn't a bad thing to have an extra one. So our main squad, Elijah's team, the Hawks team, is they've got a coupe. And we've got a truck for TikTok's team. That will matter later on, is that if you have a warehouse, you can take advantage of that. So there are two kinds of crimes. There are minor crimes and violent crimes. Violent crimes are smashing places up, assaulting people, torching them, bombing people killing people, ambushing folks. But we're going to go to minor crimes, relatively speaking. We're going to have them raid the bank here. Oh, I forgot there's only three of them. You guys will have time to do something else. And why don't we have you raid... Oh, wait, there's the courts right there. We will have you raid the department store there. Oh man, there's probably time for one more. But then they gotta go on the other side. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just have you raid something else over here. Restaurant, China store, gramophone, beauty parlor, jewelers. Jewelers would be good if um we had more money. How about the restaurant? Be like, well, you're out there. Give me some Chinese food, TikTok. He's like, is that because I'm Asian? It's like, no, because I love Chinese food. Well, everybody, that's the end of this episode. Next episode, we're going to send our violent squad out. You can kind of see the territory we have here. Hopefully, I remember we need to explore. The reason I'm sending violent squad out is we want to make a m bunch of money really quickly so we can start buying our own businesses and setting up illegal businesses where the big money is. So thanks for hanging out, everybody, and I'll see you all next time.